the area. Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. We have already pre-cleaned our board so the next thing we got to do again is look at orientation of our part. Right here's a notch. This indicates pin 1. So now we want to grab our QFP 100 and align it. What we want to try and do is get 100% on the pad all the way around. This eases in soldering of multi-leaded components. That way you shouldn't have any problems later on, especially with The next bridging. thing I want to do is I want to flux up a couple of corners. Just like that. Clean my tip off very well into the center of the hole. Go to the outer edge and finish cleaning it. Hold the part down in the center. You should always try and hold your part in the center. Reason being that keeps it from lifting up on one edge if you've got coplanarity issues. So I've tacked two corners into place. Verify this by tapping on it. Next thing I like doing, especially when I start doing multi-leader drag soldering, to help make sure that it don't start soldering on the tack lead. Because if you start soldering on the tack lead, you can move your part, so don't do that. So what I do is come in here, I don't have to hold it into place, is to hit a couple of leads on the other side, just like so. And now it's fully tacked into place. Next thing I'm going to do is put all the solder or flux around, just like so, very simple little task. Now be careful when you do this so you don't bend your legs of your part because these do, do become a very brutal. Next thing you want to do is to move your part in just like this, bring it in close so you can see what you're doing. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay your solder up on top of the foot area and I'm talking about here where you're going to be else with the pad area. Don't hang it up in here or up against that. Now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be using a different style of tip than the bent conical. The next tip that we're going to be using is actually what they call is a large hoof tip. And it is at a 30 degree angle. So when you use this, you want to make sure it's flat against the board at all times. So when you come down on top of that solder, you come down and out. Down and out. Now what you're going to be using is the legs to guide you down to the top of that solder and out. Okay, the next thing I do is I lay my solder on top of that foot area just like so. Then all i got to do is leaving it flat, come down. Look at that. i got four of them at the same time. Cleaning off that tip. Now I clean my tip off on this on a regular basis because if you get build up on it you can create bridges okay come down okay keeping it flat boom clean the tip boom clean the tip solder right down here okay put it right there come on start get going and you're okay, the done. next thing we do is going to inspect the quality of that heel fillet and my side fillets. Okay, let's increase and increase magnification so you can really see it. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? I know the solder joints, again, it's not shiny. It's dull, matty, and grainy in appearance, but that's what lead-free solder looks like. What I would do is angle my board a little bit downward and go down through it looking at all my heel fillets. And if you notice, the light is hitting it all in the Hopefully same spot. you've had a good time during this video stream and this little training. Thank you.